Hey, good to see everyone. So, um, yeah, um, what a wonderful day. Good morning, everyone. So I'm very excited to be here today and witness the growth of our community. And um, this year, obviously, we grow we've grown far beyond of where we were just last year. And uh, I'm the founder of Top. Uh, we are the major ecosystem builder in Ton. And today I want to speak about Ton journey in Telegram. So I believe not many people actually know that Mini App's journey started with the first integration of wallets inside Telegram. And that was actually a very simple use case that we experimented with. And uh, the main idea was to show the community that mini apps might be used in a very simple way, like, for example, sending Ton coin to each other. And it led the foundation to the development of mini apps in Telegram. Later, in September 2023, there was a, we witnessed a huge milestone. Telegram announced the Ton integration on the platform. So there was also complemented by the launch of the Ton space, the self-custody wallet inside Telegram, as well as Ton Connect that enabled applications and mini apps to get connected with the wallets, including Ton Space right inside Telegram application without going outside of the messenger. And uh, it attracted a lot of attention. It brought a lot of attention from the Web3 crowd. And since then, I believe that was the major milestone and the ecosystem started to thrive. Later, in just two months on the previous gateway, Notcoin pioneered and kicked off the trend of tap to earn mini apps. And actually, in just a matter of like four months, Notcoin hit the new record of 40 million monthly active users. And it became pretty much obvious to everyone that it's just not an experiment, but it's a whole new market that is emerging. In April 2024, this year, that was the first big appearance of Pavel Durov, the founder of Telegram, on stage here in Dubai, where the, the big announcements were made, including Telegram Stars, which is, was designed to, um, to accept payments inside mini apps. And that actually was a big move. Telegram became the first social platform in the world that allowed third-party developers to monetize the apps. And more importantly is that this mini apps developers, they, receive, they were starting receiving their, um, their rewards and revenues in Toncoin. And it's allowed them to distribute later this value, like instead of, like, for example, selling this stone coin, but to distribute this stone coin in their, within their audience and engage them even more. As well as like ad revenues um, started like sharing with the channel holders, uh, which also engaged them in Tonic system. Uh, so the big, another big announcement. Uh, that we made was the USDT launch on, uh, on Ton. And since then, it became the largest, the, the fastest growing blockchain for Tether expansion over the past years. So Notcoin paved the way for hundreds of applications. And uh, I, I think there are no one in this audience who have never um, played one of these games, right? So, and uh, many more games are coming, and uh, we see that it's probably, you might think that probably is just a hype, but we 
see a lot of Web2 developers that are experimenting a lot in Web3 and bring a lot of new valuable use cases for the Tonica system nowadays. So it brings us to this graph when, where we see that we are on track to achieve our mission to bring 30% of the audience, to engage 30% of Telegram audience in, in Tonica system. And uh, this particular graph shows just um, how many users we were able to onboard because of all of these launches in, um, um, in Tonspace. So basically, all of these 100 million users already have the wallets activated, which is amazing. But it was a hard way. So uh, this growth journey uh, faced us with truly challenging obstacles. So first of all, we, because of you know, all of this activations like dogs, not coin, hamster, which brought us like enormous amount of users, we experienced some significant downtime. As well as our support was flooded with, with tickets from, the, uh, from our users. We faced with this challenge, Shannon, for example, like on peak day, our daily active user, uh, users reached like all, more than nine million, which were like, this audience were concentrated around the launch event. So actually it's not just nine million users throughout the day, but it's in very, very peak moments. And it was challenging, as well as like from the beginning of this year, we resolved 1.2 million tickets in our support. That was insane. So, but challenge were accepted and we overtook them uh, and uh, smoothly um, uh, managed the previous launch of X Empire project and with a much improved uptime, as well as our support was rapidly expanded over the past, I mean, the team was rapidly expanded over the past month, and we were able to, you know, we almost like, we respond to most of the tickets in less just 10 minutes. So, that was very challenging, and of course we prioritize scaling and infrastructure, all the improvements of the infrastructure. But we need to prioritize Stone Space as this ma major self-custody wallet in our ecosystem to benefit the builders. And let me take you through the upcoming updates. So first of all, the navigation. We want to simplify access to the Tone Space. Tone Space is still in beta, and uh, it's, it works in opt-in mode. We want to make it opt-out so that every single user will be able to open the wallet, open Tone Space, and start using the self-custody. So, the good thing about this is that you can select Tone Space, and it will be used, and it will be pre-selected de as default uh, across all the sessions. The next big thing is paying all the fees with stars. You might have probably used the battery inside Tonekeeper, and that was innovative technology designed by the team, and it enabled millions of users to start using crypto without buying the native assets with Tonecoin. And uh, later, we introduced W5 standards that allowed gasless transactions, like for example, you send USDT and you pay gas fees in USDT. But for Telegram users, it's pretty much native to use internal currency, which is stars, right? So that's gonna help to activate a lot more users in the upcoming future. So stars will enable users to, 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 to pay fees easily like and seamlessly. The next big thing, I think, is a good news for many developers of different protocols in our ecosystem. We want to open uh, main features of the Tone Space to allow 
first of all, like users to get access to uh, different protocols, not only just a limited set of protocols that exist right now, but also to like in, in case of the DEX, for example, aggregation, that it will enable users to use different types of liquidity providers, more competitive pricing, and users will definitely benefit from that. Omniston, CoffeeSwap, DDoS, and other protocols will be implemented. And of course, like staking, there are various liquid staking protocols. Some of them not only provide staking for Toncoin, but also provide them with some additional rewards, and users should benefit from that, right? So this is what we want to give them. Tonspace Earn. The, as the ecosystem becomes more mature, there are more and more different types of incentives that people want to, to interact with, right? So to get access to. So apart from staking, we want to promote um, the upcoming token launches, the existing token launches, and different DeFi incentives that, being that are being provided by the protocols that are being under development, like for example, providing, um, I don't know, like um, providing crypto to some protocols like borrow lending protocols or uh, protocols like Athena that are coming to town. So that's very important to allow users to start using their crypto so that the crypto will work as the ecosystem becomes more mature. The next one, I think this is pretty much unique for Telegram, uh, meaning that there's so many channels, bots and mini apps, groups, where like all of these places might be used to distribute, um, to distribute tokens. And we want to make it on chain. So we are building the platform that will enable developers or content creators to distribute tokens and engage the users in various ways right inside Telegram. And from the user perspective, they will just collect this, will be able to collect these tokens with just you know, two clicks of a button. And the last but not the least, something that many developers have been waiting for, and we've been also waiting for the ecosystem to become more developed. So now I think we're ready to start, as we br bring more and more users to TonSpace, we want them to experience the wider ecosystem of Ton. So DApps Catalog will be launched right inside of the Ton space. And you might think that this is, you know, the, this particular feature is pretty much common for all the wallets, but you have to keep in mind then that we are dealing with the non-crypto experienced users, right? So we need to curate the catalog and bring them the, uh, not just the list of, you know, all, you know, applications that exist in, uh, in Ton, but with the apps, the use cases that will make their experience more rich. So that's the list of the updates that are coming uh, within the next few months. Um, we're getting ton space out of beta by the end of 2024. And that's about ton space, the self-custody wallet inside Telegram. So let's zoom out a bit and get back to the bigger vision of the Ton and Telegram ecosystem. The way how we see this is that uh, we see this as a virtuous circle of value that is being circulating in the ecosystem, meaning that in Web2, people just pay and exchange their time to get rewarded with getting some fun or like getting some value, but they never benefit from this, from using this projects, right? Or like platforms. In case of Ton and Telegram, the whole ecosystem is designed to engage the audience with 
the applications or content creators in the ecosystem to get access to the value that they provide, but at the same time benefit from their success. That's why all of these features like ads sharing or stars or giveaways, these all platforms are, des uh, these all features are designed to, to use Toncoin under the hood and so that this Toncoin as a, as a native asset of the entire ecosystem will be redistributed back to the uh, one, almost one billion users. That's what makes Telegram and Ton one of its kind. There are no other platforms like that. And I'm really excited about so many like applications coming to Ton nowadays, understanding the potential of this platform and building for the next generation of, um, of use cases. And of course, like uh, you might ask, and you might say that, hey, this is just a hype, but all the innovations, they start with just a hype, right? And then we're getting closer to the moment in time when we need to bring, to find out how to create valuable services and experience for our users. And of course, like there is like, we need to understand what exactly should be built inside of Telegram. Many of builders asking the same question, what should be the next big thing? And there is no clear answer because we're building a new platform, right? But you need to understand how you can benefit from all that kind of interactions, especially on the intersection between different uh, fields like social or gaming and creator economy. So we believe that there's gonna be a lot more application hitting the market within this um, areas in the nearest future. Before I leave the stage, um, I wanna like share one more thing. So, um, you know, for obvious reason, Pavel couldn't come to this conference, but Telegram would not be Telegram if they not prepare the updates for all the builders which I believe you will, you will be all excited about. So this is the QR code of Pavel's channel, Pavel's channel. You can scan it. The update will be shared later today, or probably it is already shared. And uh, scan this QR code, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for the updates on Miniapps platform coming from Telegram team, incredible Telegram team. That's it.